Hi, Rayleigh. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi. dear. Yeah, Rayleigh's from EBD Silver. She's a sixth grader, right? Yeah. Okay, who's your teacher? Mr. Yagi. Mr. Yagi. Hey, yeah, right here. She's a number one student, right? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, we got all kinds of stuff on sale today for Kraft and Oscar Mayer. Okay, I'm going to test her, okay, Mr. Yagi, okay? And if she gets all correct, give her A now. So what is that? Kraft American Singles. Okay, what is it? What is that? Cheese. Yeah. Okay, say cheese. Cheese. Now, okay. oh, this is a hard one. Mr. Yagi, I don't know why you're going to get this. What is that? Cool Whip. Okay, what do you use Cool Whip for? Putting it on strawberries. Okay, you see, at least she knows how to cook. Okay, what's that? Boston pickles. Okay, what do you use uh, Boston pickles for? Hot dogs. Oh, I see, she likes hot dogs. 1916 hot dogs, I think. Okay. What's that? Mozzarella string cheese. Breath, mozzarella cheese, string cheese. Say cheese. Cheese. Okay, and here's a baby right here. Butcher, thick slice bacon. Yeah? You like bacon? And a bakey, I'm like, Uncle, strong. Get these all on sale at KTA. I want to say hi to my friends to, at Eva De Silva. Hi. Do you know yogurts are healthy for you? Yogurts make a healthy snack. Here's Greek God, Greek yogurt. I like blueberry. I like honey strawberry. These taste great and I like eating healthy. I also like Lifeway strawberry and cream smoothies. It's organic and also tastes great. Get, Get these, these yogurts and smoothies on sale at KTA. It was the 17th annual Big Island International Marathon held on March 16. The event was organized by, by Wayne Big Dog Joseph in 1997 with a goal of attracting 1,000 entries from all over the world to promote the Big Island and its economy. The event included a 26.2 mile marathon, a half marathon, and three point mile run walk from Hilo Bay to Pepe Kio. Organizers are brothers Joe and Bob Weatherman. Over 1,000 runners participated. Runners came from Japan, Hungary, France, Germany, Canada, Australia, England, United States, and the state of Hawaii. Marie Kuramoto, at age 67 of Hilo, ran all 17 marathons. Although the big dog is no longer physically with us, his legacy still lives on. Thank you, big dog, for your vision and foresight to start such a wonderful event benefiting our island. It has truly become an international event. Yes, the Big Island International Marathon will keep on growing and the big dog will be with us Forever. Here's our two favorite things from KTN. Hi, Queen. And cheese. I love my cream. And I love my cheese. Get this all on sale at KTA. I was thrilled and honored to speak with ukulele extraordinaire Jake Shimabukuro about the Junior Achievement Program. Jake said he was excited when he saw how engaged students were when visiting a classroom. Story that I that I shared, um, you know, I I have a dear dear friend over at my my elementary school. Mm -hmm. You know, his name is mm -hmm. uh, Cody Cody Okimoto. He's okay. a wonderful teacher there, uh -huh. and they actually brought the JA program wow. into my my I did his class once to talk to the kids okay. about music. Okay. And when I walked in, I got there a little early, uh, and they were in the middle of their uh, JA uh, uh, their JA uh, um, you know session. Yeah. 
And I tell you, these kids were just beaming. I mean, they were so excited, you know, about about the product that they were making, and they're just talking about like, oh, how they're gonna, you know, increase their profits. And I mean, these are these are elementary school kids, you know, and they're getting so excited about business, and they're just and learning. And to me, inspiring these kids, you know, to get excited about you know, about learning and and just uh, and about business and. And just uh, being creative, coming up with new ideas. I mean, that's that's priceless, right there. And you don't get that in in other subjects or in other, you know, uh, in in the classroom, right? So, uh, so you know, please support Jay because, I mean, it's so inspiring for these kids. And I think more than ever, you know, we need to inspire the youth and we need to motivate them and to educate them. Jake is such a great role model, a creator, innovator, and artist, but the most humble person I know. I asked him to play another Here's song. Here's a, a quick song. You know, <coughs> and I'll, I'll put Derek's the best, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. It was a DOE culinary performance based assessment event in Kailua Kona. It was on a Friday and Saturday, and there I saw many principals, school teachers, and administrators sacrificing their weekends at this event. While the students were learning and demonstrating the skills, the teachers were working hard preparing food for 2000 at a catering event. After the experience, here's what they had to say. Oh, Mr. Mani is a farmer to a farmer. chef. I run the food gamut. So uh, what you did today? Oh boy. Uh, I see you all dressed in your I'm nice beautiful uniform. I'm so uniforms. exhausted, I forget, boy. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what are you guys are doing? You guys? Well, we had, our, we had our own experience at the uh. catering. Uh, Activity this uh, evening. The kids uh, got to go to Sam Choi's today. Uh, Quite an experience for them. Real what what are you doing now, right now? Right now, we're preparing for the Kona Brew Fest. Wow. Some of I the mean, dishes. You guys are actually wor are working for it? We're actually working. Oh, fantastic. We got the carrot stains. Wow. What, a, what an experience. <laughs> so, what tired, you, but. Oh, as a teacher, what did you also learn? <laughs> <laughs> Never to look at another. Chinese peas. Chinese, oh, you're, you oh did a Chinese peas. All of it. You were 
good break. We were preparing food that's going to be offered at the brew fest tomorrow. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So it's Chinese chicken salad and uh, a s'more thing. While they prepared the s'more thing, their marshmallow exploded in the oven. Hello, Hanukkah High School. Wow, man, so what? Uh, what did you learn today? I heard you guys ran out to work. I learned how to clean an oven where um, the marshmallows exploded. Hey, you got a fancy uniform, Kia High School. Where you get that fancy uniform from? From Zippies. What do you mean? They donated it? Yes, they did. They oh. came and did a presentation for our students and surprised us with some chef jackets, some knives, and some cutting boards. And awesome. a whole bunch of other things. Awesome. You want to tell them thank you? Yes, thank you, Zippies. <laughs> Come on, man. You guys work so hard, man. Uh, oh, it's a fun event. Okay. And the students um, have worked very hard, and I think they've learned a lot. Well, you mean the teachers do, right? We had industry experience ourselves. It was a good learning for us, too, yes. And here's what Area Superintendent for West Hawaii District, Art Souza had to say. Uh, I'd like to just say on behalf of the West Hawaii Complex area and on behalf of my colleagues, Mary Correa and Kiaao Puna and Delta Kaki and Hilo, I want to welcome all of you and say thank you for your participation. This has been an incredibly wonderful event and uh, the things I saw today are so encouraging because it's what makes public education special in Hawaii. I thought that I'd share just a couple thoughts with you guys before we get into lunch. And, you know, at the Sousa household, the tradition at Christmas time is always that we watch A Christmas Cow. And my favorite scene from that movie is when Bob Cratchit has his family together to toast the founder of the feast. But we need to honor the founders of the feast. And I had a chance today to see the kids from Pahoa, Keaau, and Waikea present. And it was fabulous. You guys are to be commended for an excellent, excellent presentation. Thank you. I have to see the kids from Honoka'a and Kealakehi and some of the other schools, but I can only assume and imagine and am assured that it was equally, equally extraordinary. So thank you guys all for that. The students, you are the founders of the feast. You're the founders of the future. So thank you for doing what you're doing. The students don't get where they are if we don't also honor the founders of the feast, their teachers, because to do something like this and to see the extraordinary representation of good learning that's, that, that we saw with our kids today, that's a result of hard work, commitment, diligence, and a lot of time spent by teachers outside of the classroom. So to the teachers, I congratulate and applaud you. Thank you for what you've done. And the feast needs funding. <laughs> and so to, the, to our, yes, yes indeed, to our state office people, Sherilyn and her team, uh, they are the structure, the organization, the fiscal agents, the coordinators, the resource suppliers and managers for the entire state system and our CTE program. So Sherilyn and your team, thank you guys for making this event in West Hawaii special. And of course, we have to acknowledge the founders of the West Side and East Side, Dan Banks and uh, Nem Lau, capably, capably um, assisted by uh, uh, Patty this year. So thank you guys. Uh, and you know what? There is one more founder of the feast, and that's about partnership, and that's with Derek and KTA. But KTA has been a, it has been just a gigantic partner for schools in West Hawaii and for the East Side. So thank you, Derek. Lastly, you know, why this? Well, you know, there's a national discussion in education going on all across the United States. It's about how we can do school differently. It's about how we can change the look of classrooms. It's about how we can engage students in deeper, more meaningful learning and thinking. And it strikes me that the CTE programs have been doing what we're only talking about now in Common Core for the longest time. It's about project-based learning, it's about performance-based assessment, it's about students really demonstrating that they can make meaning and create meaning out of the learning. We're past the point where we are expecting kids to absorb learning. We're now expecting our youngsters to make meaning out of what they absorb. And I think that's the benefit of what we see in the kinds of projects that you guys are engaged in, what I saw this morning of the three schools I witnessed, so thank you for that. I think it's also important that one thing that struck me as I watched the students do their presentations, I was just as intrigued by watching the judges. Because what we're asking our teachers to do in the classroom is to ask those deeper questions, to ask kids to inquire, to ask kids to understand that the learning is in the question. I've always believed that you can teach by asking one question. And I saw the judges doing that. So
So I wanted to just say thank you to the judges too because uh, a lot of what we found the kids talking about was pulled out through those questions. So it's the wealth, I think, and the value of career technical education and the approach that we get and we see through project-based learning and performance-based assessments that is really encouraging in terms of how we're changing our schools. So for that, I want to thank all of you who are participants. Um, it's been a meaningful activity and we in West Hawaii hope that we can continue our support of this. So thank you all. And I also saw teachers learning from their students. So it does it, you just swing slower? No, you just kind of Oh, when it lands, it you kind of go down oh, with it. Oh, bring it straight up instead, straight instead of up. like Instead of doing the whole, yeah, that's what I thought, but it was like, it's more difficult because you're going to hit <laughs> it in the face. Can you go soft and landing, like bring it down as it lands? Okay. Yeah. There you wow. go. She's a teacher. Hey. I asked Vice Principal Jasmine Urasaki to tell me something about their students. Are you proud of your, your teacher here and also all the students there in Jet? And, and plus, hey, thank you for coming all the way down from Yale. Yeah, no, we are very, very proud. Uh, I was lucky to make it to their uh, presentation, and I think they really impressed the judges. Uh, they did a really good job. Well, they, very, they impressed me too, man. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, there were parents that were involved in their students, and more so, there were teachers collaborating with other teachers. Yes, I do believe in Korea Technical Education Program. It enables the student to apply what is learned in the classroom.